this is Charlie from Charlie's Awesome World of Adventures and today I'm going to be giving my review on Strange World. Oh, oh this movie so enters on on such a clay. A, a farmer who lives with his wife Meridian and teenage son Ethan. For oh, one day, the leader of the town of alone, Anna Castell. And look, I'm um, just to let such a know that the plant he founded, Pat Ando, is dying. Uh, yeah, and that he needs to go on, on, on an expedition with her to save it. But entering in the strange world where he uh, he's reunited he with his not long lot of fat uh, and world famous adventurer, Jaeger Clade. Aid. Aid. So, so I think it's safe to say that th uh, this movie is one of Disney's biggest box office bombs. Almost. Seriously, this, this movie bombed much worse than people anticipated. Some people were, were afraid that this would probably be a flop since Disney doesn't really have the best luck when it comes to their animated sci-fi films. And it's too bad that this movie turned out to be a flop because us, us, this turned out to be a really good movie. Hey, hey. I'm not saying it's one of Disney's best. I mean, it's hard to top last year when they released two of my favourite films from the studio with Ryan the Last Dragon and Nikanto, but this is still a pretty good film nonetheless. As, as this is mainly shown with the characters. I think it's safe to say that these aren't the most memorable Disney characters. So it's... Oh, they're definitely... <laughs> not bad but they definitely fall into the category of could have been better however but i can say that one good thing about them is that the actors were definitely having a great time with their performances they know that this is a disney film and they and they managed to put that that effort into it with to to, to show that that their performance matters and to, to, as especially with dennis and this quaid really playing up the event entrance type with Jaeger. Okay, so let's begin with the with the clays, which are actually the movie's biggest problem. Now I now on their own, these are pretty good characters. You've got Sacha, who's in the tough off spot up with the uniting with his long on lost foot of and trying to cut, have a bond with his son. And if Ethan than so actress son and who's not sure what he what he wants to do do as well as trying to confess his feet even to a guy he likes called the other so so and yes this is one of those those disney films where the main main character is gay and, and yay Ager, the, the world famous adventurer who wants to see what's on the other side either the mount mountains I can see how these can be good characters individually, actually, but it's their, their bond on that really weakens the film, since all they seem to be doing is just arguing with each other. Uh, sometimes they can have their tender moments, and but in film, also like, uh, uh, they do have to disagree with each other on everything. I get they're three generations of the same family, but do they have have to ha have the same problem at constantly yelling at each other? At least I can say with the other characters, they're definitely a lot better. Like Meridian, such as wife and Eve, Ethan's mum, uh, um, who, who later become um, the partner. I loved, loved the mission. She and shows herself as the cool mum, and we're trying to put our safety to Ethan first. Ars Costello, the lead leader of the mission that's the town armed to save Pandal and Avalona at all costs, uh, and Splat, this is new, who faces this comic relief, who actually has some good humour. I don't think everyone will, will love, love his humour as much as other Disney comic reliefs, He's, but he is still a fun, a little, little comic relief, if it does fit well. Oh, it's the film. Oh, and then there's Legend, who's literally a dog. There's nothing else to say about him. He's just the clueless three-legged dog. And that's why he's the greatest thing in this movie. That dog alone makes the f makes this feature worth watching. 
thing. And if that that is someone why it has to be funny, you can tell that the joke oaks will have to be from him. Or splats. That's a good second option. And uh, next there's the story. Wait, wait, ever for for once unto Disney to make another other film um, like Atlantis, The Lost Empire and Treasure Planet? Well, Disney is someone who who loves making wishes come true. Ooh, and and they managed to do it well. I'll say that the best thing about this, this movie it is the world building. And then, with every, every little aspect of the strange world, it takes time to explore all the area as well as learn about our pan and though that keeps the town out of Avalona not alive by and why the town is desperate on needing it to keep its resources high. Huh. I could see how this could have made an amazing story. Right. But then there's the issue I described earlier and that is the father son dynamic. Right. Right. Where it does try to teach the all audience of being true to yourself and the ones who raise you up you are an important part of who you are oh, of course it's a really good lesson in itself and i'm glad that the film decided to go that route out with its father son dynamic but but here's the problem like i said before the the three never stop arguing going whether it's diego and satcher or satchel thief ethan but it feels like you're in the middle of a family argument. It feels uncomfortable. You feel le like you want to leave so you don't describe other intentions. And you, you don't want to be caught in the crossfire. Yeah, it's quite hard to tell if I should root for the father and, and or enjoy the father the son. But only when I'm not uh, enjoying either the father or the son. Oh, but later as the film goes on. Um, the, the future would have a have a twist is to make it more interesting. Then now I know Disney hasn't had the greatest reputation when it comes to twists, especially with their villains. But with this one, what it does or have to offer a brief unnecessary twist villain, then the twist based itself is surprisingly really good. It explains more on the world, world building and and the use of pan. Uh, and uh, though, oh well, and it does us change your perspective on the film. Oh, oh, and, and how, how do you, you feel more enjoyed with, with it a lot more. And then there's the animation. If there's one thing I could say which is the best thing about this movie, it has to be the, the, the visuals. This is especially the case with, with the strange world itself. Since world building is one of the best things in this movie, the, it, the way the world is crafted is beautiful. It uses different colours, looks like pinks, reds and blues, but doesn't decide to cover the movie in a full rainbow. But it knows exactly what colours it needs for us or each scene and how to show the world. On top of you are crafting some great Eight creep eaters that inhabit the the plate as as, as the civilians in a way. And another thing that's interesting is with the design. I swear, and the characters have a have a new look than the the typical Disney look. While it can feel a little on and off at times, it does actually work out well to an advantage. It it design. I, I just when the characters to have that fun a moment as and and do a good job of it with the design on top of some, some creative character animation. But the true highlights of the animation and what all easily have for you who has come to watch this film um, are the action scenes. Whenever the clays have to escape from danger, that's when you you know the intensity is high and the animation brings it to life, whether it be with the surroundings of the strength and what oh all the diff different vehicles like the cause cause like air, airships that are 
are using the chips in action scenes. And so overall, for you ever ever want to do is to create another film like Atlantis and Treasure Planet? Well, here it is. Another flawed yet still pretty good adventure. Technically, Strange World is one of Disney's weaker films, but it still is a really good solid film nonetheless. While it can be hard to enjoy the farthest and dynamic, it does make up for it. It with a really good twist, some great world building, amazing animation, some likeable enough characters, as and some talented voice acting. I wouldn't say that this will be on, on the same part as other Disney films, but if you like, like more of the action-packed features, then this is an absolute must-watch. Oh, I'd rather for stick to some, um, from like Big Hero Six or Ryo myself. Oh, but this is still a solid film. Um, nonetheless, it was a rough mission to accomplish, but what? But I think what I've seen is enough to give this movie a ten out of ten. To Legend, cause he's a good boy. Oi, oi, not to the movie though. It gets an eight out of ten. I mean, it's good, but not great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.